Good morning, y'all. I am going to be vlogging today. First of all, how cute oh, is my sweet boy and the side eye. <laughs> I love this. I got up so early today. I got up at like 5.45 this morning and I've been reading. My like new routine is to sit out on the porch and read starting at like 6.30 typically until like 7.30. I've just been such a bookworm lately. Like I have had my nose in a book 24-7 and it's so cute like seeing all the animals and the birds and the people walking their dogs early in the morning. Like there's just a kind of a lot of nature that I randomly see. I actually saw a fox the other day like run up the road and he had something in his mouth and I don't know what it was. But I saw a fox, I saw a bunny, I saw a hummingbird, so many other little birds. There's just like random wildlife sometimes. So I love sitting out there and it's like not too hot yet. It's still a little cool. I like literally see the sunrise. It's so pretty. So I've been sitting outside reading for a while, drinking my coffee. It's just like so relaxing. It's such a nice way to start the morning. But today is like, I don't know, it's kind of my last day before I like officially go back to work. I went for a couple days of training uh, last week, but it wasn't like work work. Like we literally just were there doing training stuff. So we were just chilling, but I go back for like a regular work shift starting tomorrow morning, which is just crazy because I have not done that. And it's gonna be like 80, let me look. Yeah, it's gonna be like 85 days, 86 days in between like my, the last time I worked. That's just so wild. If you would have ever told me I would have like almost 90 days off of work in a year straight, I would have been like, what the heck? Excuse my braids. Literally, I don't know how people with layers do French braids because I, literally this is me every time. But y'all have seen that in all of the quarantine vlogs. So this is nothing new. But I thought I would do a little bit of vlogging today just because I'm going to do a couple maybe kind of fun things. If y'all have seen, I don't think it's up yet because I really delayed editing it. But y'all have probably seen on the channel if you've been around for a while. Every year for my birthday and my husband's birthday, we just gather up all the like freebies you get in your email from you know all the different companies that send you like free food on your birthday and we kind of like make a big deal of going around and just like collecting all of our like free birthday goodies and so I finally I was kind of waiting to edit that from Ken's birthday just because since some places were closed I wasn't able to get all of his but then I figured like I'm, I don't really don't want to like wait around and wait to edit it and wait to post it just to like get a couple more things so I edited that and that's going up I don't know before or after this because I have a lot of videos going up in all kinds of random orders but now that my birthday is coming up and I a few weeks I'm starting to get some of my birthday coupons but I don't think I'm gonna start getting those yet however I do have some other like random free food coupons that I've gotten from like either signing up for emails or downloading apps or like just random companies literally will like randomly send me like here we loaded this to your account just for no reason like not because I've had points or anything so I have a few of those things so basically I'm gonna be going around and gathering a bunch of free food today I think if it's not birthday related that will be its own video I haven't vlogged in a few days we epoxied our garage which I'm super super excited about. I have a video a whole video on that going up probably after this also June's just gonna be a super fun and exciting month again This may be going up. I don't know at what point but June's gonna be so 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 cool between I have my family coming to visit We're taking a trip to Savannah. It's my birthday There's just a lot of exciting things about this month So I'm hopefully gonna be vlogging quite a bit this month and I figured I would start now since it's still the very beginning of the month So I will bring you guys around for the day with me he keeps flipping over like this. What are you doing? Why are you laying like that? <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, okay. How fun is this tie-dye? I actually just filmed a Target haul yesterday. Again, I have no idea in relation to this video when that's going to be up, but this was in that Target haul. This bra is also one of the new ones that I got from Walmart that I hauled recently in like a big quarantine haul video. So I can link that video for you guys, but how cute is this sports bra? I just like love the colors and I thought it kind of matched these. These are a C9 Champion from Target. They don't sell these anymore, but I just thought this was kind of a cute little outfit. I'm going to work out soon per usual, but this is just like what I've been chilling in and I think this is so cute. By the way, this is the book that I'm reading right now, and I have only been reading this. Look how far I am. That's where I'm at in this book, and I've only been reading this for like two or three days. And it's not even like that much of a thriller, but for some reason, I just like can't put it down. So 
I haven't finished it yet, obviously, but I would definitely recommend this one if y'all are looking for a new book. This is also like one of those dumb adult things that probably <laughs> nobody cares about, but we're super excited about. Whenever we open the windows, we have these like sheer curtains here, obviously, and when the windows are open, and obviously it's kind of windy, these like blow everywhere, and it like kind of drives me crazy. So I had Ken put in these little hooks here. It's literally like this dumbest little thing. But it's so nice because then when we open the window, the like drapes just like don't blow all over the place. And it also like lets a little bit of extra light in because as you can see, like even though these are sheer, they definitely like dull the light a little bit. So it's so simple, but I just love that. And like they're super concealed. We also put them over here on these windows so we can pull these back and then we just hook them back here. And again, those are like completely hidden. So it's like a little thing. I'm actually, we actually kind of need something like that for this room because these obviously blow a lot too. But the problem is, is that we can't put hooks over here because these drapes, like we don't have a super long, um, whatever you call that, curtain rod. So the drapes don't go very far and the hook would like extend probably like this far so it would be visible. So I ended up just ordering actually yesterday on Amazon. It should be here today, so I'm very excited. But just one of those like ties that just kind of like ties around these so I can kind of like, I at least tie them together and hopefully this will stay out of the way and won't blow in the wind because literally this will blow like all the way into the room because it's really long in case you're wondering about any updates to our curtains which of course you weren't but it's like these like little things that are so dumb and pointless but like make such a big difference and they're kind of exciting even though <laughs> probably not to you but to me so i wanted to share okay so i'm going to make a really hopefully cool <laughs> recipe that i saw and i think it was delish or tasty posted yesterday and it's kind of for like a crispy cheese omelet so we're gonna give that a try i'm so excited okay so you start by just putting a bunch of parmesan cheese she used parmesan in the video i'm doing parmesan and also a little bit of cheddar just to mix it up but you just put the cheese down in the pan and kind of let it start like sizzling and getting like kind of crispy i think it's meant to get kind of hard on its own and then i'm just gonna mix up some eggs and pour it on top and kind of make an omelet so that when you close the omelet you have like this crispy cheese crust on the outside how freaking good does that sound i hope i do it right though because i feel like you could go too far on the cheese and burn it but you could also go too light and not have it be like a crispy coating so i feel like i need to be careful but i'm really excited to see how this goes the parmesan cheese is like popping it's so weird it's really like popping out of the pan so i don't know is this is this like far enough do you think i don't want it to like burn i really don't want to mess this up but i don't want to burn it either it was a very small town very secluded area and they didn't feel like there was a lot for it so i put a little bit of pimento cheese in the middle and folded it over and oh my gosh it pretty much worked doesn't that look so good oh i'm so excited wow look at that cheese coming out mmm mmm that's good stuff. I really liked it. I had my half. Yeah, I like it a lot. Hey, well, how may I help you? Hi, um, I'm just outside for a uh, like curbside pickup for Shannon. Yep. I have it ready now. I'll have it out shortly. Okay, thank you. All right, so as you can tell, I have begun the uh, free food errands. I worked out. I did a really good, like, it was like 50 minutes. It was a long workout. And then I just got changed. to have, like, these cute little tie-dye shorts, just a little t-shirt. My braids are, like, so canceled. It's, like, embarrassing, but I'm not going to rebraid them because that's just annoying. <laughs> so I'm picking up some salsaritas right now. I got, like, a burrito bowl in, like, a taco shell. Like, you know how taco salads come in, like, a taco shell? I got a burrito bowl in, like, a taco shell. So I'm super excited about that because I love eating the shell. And then I have some returns to do and some more food to pick up. Oh, I don't know if you can see. There you go. But now I'm at Denny's. All right, got the goods. Okay, just swung by Buffalo Wildlings. Got some more free goodies in here. I cannot wait to eat these, oh my gosh. All right, I'm at Off-Broadway Shoes now. Perusing the clearance section, of course. I picked out a pair of slippers. So I just stopped and grabbed some Dunkin'. Ooh. I got the butter pecan uh, hot latte because I really like the butter pecan and I got whipped cream on it and you know the whipped cream melts pretty much right away so I had to stop and eat the whipped cream before it goes away mmm yum mm, that could be a little sweeter but it's fine all right I need to get gas and then we'll go eat so this is the Denny's but it was 
two pancakes. Their pancakes are so good, by the way. It's two pancakes, two sausage links, hash browns, and a biscuit. So I had a little bit of that. It was good, thank you, because I was hungry. Okay, check this out. This is, I think, what I'm gonna have for my lunch. Cheers. They do burrito bowls in freaking taco bowls. Whoa. I love that. I'm so excited. These are for you. Let's go. The barbecue. Mm. And then I also got mine free. Oh. Boom. Boom. And then the free Dunkin' too. All right. And then there's some sauces. Two Whoa. of them are ranch, two of them are blue cheese, so just be careful. <sighs> okay, so I ate lunch. I had the like taco burrito salad bowl thing and that was super super good I couldn't like finish the whole bowl like I ate everything in it, but I couldn't eat the actual physical whole bowl I had some of it, it was so good. I just got changed so I can go sit outside I tied my braids back because they're bugging me and I'm gonna hopefully finish this book. Okay I just finished this book y'all I read this this is how many like 300 300 and like 30 pages I read this in three days. This was, like, not, it wasn't even one of the most intense books I read, but it just, like, kept you wanting to read it and know what happened. I don't know. I found it to be really, really interesting. It really sucked me in. It's, like, uh, kind of different than the books I typically read in some ways, but I liked it. So I can link this um, in the description box for you guys. I thought it was so, so good. I'm starting to work on dinner now, and I'm making something kind of interesting. I cook in the air fryers right there. I cook in the air fryer a lot. Also, I apologize for my appearance, <laughs> but I'm making air fryer pizza dogs so I actually just threw the hot dogs in. you just like kind of make little slices in them as you can see and put them in the air fryer at 390 for like three minutes literally no time at all oh did I do five in this one oh no four <laughs> and then you just take some pepperoni and like stuff it into little slits and then I'm gonna put them in the hot dog buns with some pizza sauce obviously the pepperoni will already be in the middle and then top it with some mozzarella and then you put it back like even in the bun you just load it back in here and put it back in the air fryer for a couple minutes so the bun can get kind of crispy the cheese can get melty and it'll all just like marry together and be so yummy and that's gonna be dinner so it's gonna be super easy but I thought that was such a cute recipe idea so I decided to like fill up the bottom of the roll with the um, pizza sauce and then as you can see I like stuffed the pepper in the middle now it's time for cheese I mean those look pretty awesome wow check these out Ooh, they smell so good. So those hot dogs were literally so good. Ken was like freaking out that it's like his new favorite thing. <laughs> Not actually being dramatic, but he really, really liked them. So I will put, I mean, it's literally as simple as how I explained it. I feel like you don't even need a recipe. I'm about to wrap up this vlog. Ken and I are gonna sit and read. I'm starting a new book since I told you guys I just finished that one. So this is the new one I'm starting. My girlfriend actually lent this to me because she read it and she said she read it in like two days because it's crazy. So I'm very excited. We're gonna sit outside and read, but I got a few packages, so I thought I would show y'all what just came in the mail really quick. This is, how cute is this tie-dye tank top? This is from Target. This is the Colsey brand. And I got this actually in a large because I like read some reviews and saw some influencers and they said like you should size up a little bit just so it's like, I mean, this doesn't even look like a large to me. Cause it's like pretty cropped and like, I don't know. I'm definitely glad I haven't tried it on, but I'm glad I sized up. The colors are just so pretty. I'm so excited about that. That's Target, like I said. And then I got two packages from Old Navy. I placed like a massive order on Old Navy because I literally, I have a haul coming. You guys will see. I don't know if it's gonna be before or after this, but I literally basically stole from Old Navy. It was, everything was so cheap. So I placed an online order and then I actually had them order something for me in store that they didn't have the correct size of in store. So this is definitely not the large order. This is probably only a couple of things, but they always ship everything separately for some reason. So it looks like this is, ooh, I'm so excited. I have like no, I've said this in like a few videos. I have like no cuter, nicer clothes. Like I have just a lot of like really comfy casual wear and loungewear but I don't have a lot of like stuff that I like can put on and be cute to like go out somewhere go out to dinner or something but I ordered this romper it seems like it's gonna be pretty simple it has like a little keyhole in the back it's like a slight v-neck got kind of like flutter sleeves and then oh I didn't realize it actually has the whole back open oh and then it just kind of tightens around the waist and then it's just shorts. So it's pretty like simple, but I thought this was really cute. I thought this pattern was pretty. It's kind of simple and it's just neutral. It's like black and white and tan with little pops of coral. So I'm excited about that. I definitely need to like get some cuter clothes in my wardrobe for sure. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, these are the things I had her order for me. Mm, these are only two of the things. I think I had her order me like three things. But I'm so excited because I got this 
matching leggings for this which i love this tie-dye pattern i love these colors and i've been eyeing this for forever but i got the leggings y'all for literally like four dollars and i got this bra for like six dollars and i love these bras i get a size medium in them and they have padding which is nice they're obviously like a v-neck and then they're just like mesh in the back and they kind of like crisscross a little bit oh i'm so excited i love matching sets and i think this is gonna be so cute i'm so stoked about that and then this dress i got in pink at the store and i'm so glad that i had to order it for me because now when you search online for it i can't even find it online anywhere i will try to link what i can of this stuff and if this is back online i will definitely link it but it seemed to have like disappeared but it's like this ribbed material y'all this is like the softest thing ever but it's a dress it's kind of like a little v-neck it's got like nice thick straps so you can wear a regular bra and then it's a v-neck and it just buttons all the way down and it's almost like kind of like skater style it kind of like is straight and then it kind of goes out a little bit so it's like really kind of flirty and flowy and so cute it buttons like all the way down and it's a little longer like it goes past your knees or like yeah i think a little past my knees i got a size small on these i almost got an extra small but then i figured a small would be a little bit more a tiny bit more roomy a medium is actually what i bought the first time and then i returned it and i tried on the extra small and i settled on the small but i also just love this like just simple white and gray i think that is so cute and this could be casual but also kind of nicer like you could definitely wear this with sneakers like white sneakers and like a denim jacket tied around your waist But then you could also wear this with like some cute like espadrille sandals and like some necklaces I'm so excited. So that's my little haul for today a little sneak peek to the old navy haul that will be coming But I think that's going to be everything for today's vlog. It's like it's crazy It's seven. It's past seven o'clock and literally like golden hour is starting right now I guess you probably won't be able to tell, but I feel like you can tell just even by looking behind me. Like, this is the kind of, oops, this is the kind of lighting that I'm obsessed with that used to happen at like 3, and I would just live for this, and now it happens at 7. And like, when we go up to bed, we usually like go up to bed around like 9, 9.30, and just kind of like start getting ready for bed, and it's still light out when we're getting ready for bed, which is so weird for me. I feel like I'm back to being like 10 years old where it was still light out when I went to bed in the summer. But, oh, I just love this lighting. I literally just like stare at it. I love that like the whole wall of my house is windows. It's amazing. But anyway, now I'm like rambling about nonsense. So we're just gonna chill, do some reading, probably have some watermelon for dessert. I bought a big old watermelon. We've just been munching on that. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up our day i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog i kind of miss vlogging every day back in quarantine but i don't miss having to edit for like two hours every morning even though i still edit every day but it's just a little bit less of a commitment but i'm glad that i was able to vlog for you guys today thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in our next video bye guys